Today on Go or No Go, we will be talking about the controversial non-call that resulted in the game-tying goal between the Winnipeg Jets and the Vegas Golden Knights. Good morning, afternoon, evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zachary Nolan. Carter Nolan is behind the camera. Yes, I am. So, uh, obviously you saw the goal in our pre-intro, so we're going to show you a couple angles and we'll, we'll play it on repeat a couple times here, but let's just say that this call rattled a lot of Jets fans the wrong way. And it doesn't help that, naturally, there's kind of a perceived notion that Vegas gets a little bit away with things in terms of cap circumvention, any trade they want, and just a bunch of ref calls. There's kind of that preconceived notions by a lot of other fans, especially Canadian hockey fans, and there's st and it's stuff like this that, that doesn't really help. So Carter, could you just roll the footage now and just show yeah. them a bit? So the problem here is, like, let's make something clear. The Winnipeg Jets are having a bad game. However, the third period is actually a decent period by the Winnipeg Jets. Going into this period, they only had eight shots, and the Vegas Golden Knights had already had amassed over 30 shots on net. However, in the third period, the Jets have a great start. They score two seconds in. They are 13, two shots in, 13 seconds in. Adam Lowry gets them on the board. Connor Hellebuck is playing out of his mind. And now what happens from that is when the Vegas Golden Knights finally do get a goal past Connor Hellebuck, it leaves a sour taste in a lot of Jets fans' mouth because seemingly they missed a tripping penalty. As you can see, Morgan Barron has the puck in the corner. Chandler Stevenson's stick clearly makes contact with the leg of Morgan Barron, causing him to fall down. The referee does not call anything, and Eichel picks up the pass and throws it in front to Mark Stone, who scores to make it a 1-1 game. Now, this would go on, this would result in the game ultimately going in overtime where the Jets would lose 2-1 to one with Jack Eichel scoring on a fantastic play at the end of the overtime. Um, however, and you can argue that the Vegas Golden Knights really deserved a break given the amount of shots they were putting on him, but I think the more frustrating part was Connor Hellebuck deserved a shutout. And looking at this trip, and like, I think Carter, you probably showed both angles at this point. What? How do you not make that call? And the worst part is, is that we actually kind of have somewhat evidence that the referee sees that the trip occurs. This, right here, is what a ref does when he sees a play happen and has to silently confirm or just out loud confirm that he's not calling it. This is the thing that I make, this is the hand motion I make when I'm refing minor hockey and I see two players collide with each other, but it's not a hit. I say, it's nothing. There's nothing there. He puts his arm out and practically waves the play off, this little wave of his arm, to indicate that he's not going to call something, and the Jets are rightfully livid about this. Ah! Again, it's so frustrating and so annoying. And by, before we leave you with just our parting thoughts on this call, uh, I would like to once again just make a thank you to our sponsors. Do you hate when you can't find your preferred sports betting site? Bet 99! Bet 99! Caramba! Caramba! Spreads! This doesn't look like cool bets. Bet way! Bet way! Ah, it's a spider! Well, that is a problem no longer. With that stamp, you have access to all your favorite betting websites all on one platform. Just pick the game and select the best money line to ensure you make the most for every bet you make. To take advantage of this extraordinary opportunity, make sure you download BetStamp from the App Store or use the link in the description below and use referral code NHP to let them know you're coming from us and you're saving money. Now, without further ado, let's get back to the video. But yeah, definitely go check them out. It's, it's a great app, honestly. It really is. Uh, but yeah, if this was your first uh, goal or no goal, first off, uh, I'm going to go with this should not have been a goal, and there should have been a, d a tripping penalty to Sh Chandler Stevenson. Um, 
and the Jets should have won one nothing. But I digress. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. This is our 50th goal or no goal. So now I realized I've opened a can of worms. Uh, I, in the past, I had not talked about penalties that occurred on the play prior to the goals. Uh, in the past, I only talked about goal interferences. I'm opening it up now. I'm opening up my repertoire to that. Um, so if you want me to review a controversial goal and give you my thoughts on it, gladly will. Yeah, send in. We take requests. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Connor, you'll the top for Connor and Pierre.